Hi, my name's Ed Gregory for photosincolor.com and today I'm going to show you how to use the spot removal tool in Lightroom. So the spot removal tool in Lightroom is extremely powerful. However, it, you can't really do a full retouch, beauty retouch like you would do in Photoshop, but you can get pretty close although it actually takes quite a lot more work. So let's jump into Lightroom and have a look. So here we are in Lightroom and today we're going to be using this photograph just here. Um, I shot it a few years ago and last year, sorry, for Luxury Magazine. So what we're going to look at here is this, the model skin is what we're going to be able to use the spot removal tool on, okay? As well as things like this area here and down here where I actually had some dirt on my sensor. So if we come up here, the spot removal tool is the second one just up here, or you can hit Q like so, and it's gonna start it off. So let's have a quick look and see what we've actually got in here. The two main settings we've got is clone and heal. Now they do two distinctly different things, although quite similar. Let's start off with a clone tool, okay? I'm gonna set all these sliders up here, and we'll talk about those in a moment. But let's, first of all, do the clone tool. So if, if I select this area here for the clone tool, what it's going to do is it's going to clone a, an area and it actually analyzes the picture to find something, okay? So what we've done is we've, we've just, it doesn't do anything, but if we, I put it over here on the skin, what it does, it actually moves this area and puts it directly on this area over here. So it clones this and it moves it here, okay? now. Conversely, if I show the heal tool, watch what happens now. So what the heal tool does is it, it keeps looking at the colors and everything of the area, but it moves the textures. So if we come over here to the, this part of the image, we can see the texture of the skin from here has been moved over here, but it's still all gray. So we'll delete that and we'll do the same the other way. So let's, let's um, make this nice and big and we will go here, okay, and we're going to bring it over this side, and we're currently set to heal. So what it's going to do, you see it's just gone smooth, it's taken the texture from here, but it's kept the colors. And if I hit clone, it's just gonna make this area gray. Now, let's look at some of the other sliders so that we know exactly what this does. Size obviously changes the size of the brush that you're painting with. Now, if we've got this one selected, I'm gonna show what happens, okay, if we change the feather. So feather, what this means is how much um, the opacity, how hard the edge is essentially. So if we make the edge really hard, this is what's gonna happen, okay? So it's basically, if we click off this, it's just kept the edge solid and we've just moved this area onto the face here. Looks terrible, um, but it's great for demonstration. Now, if we were to, move the feather up, the edge is going to get nice and soft, like so, and it's put on this smooth blur, and if I was to come away, it then fades into, into that area. So that's really nice and simple. Now if we look at how, so this really is important when using the clone, okay? Whereas when we use the heel brush tool, if we have a look now, so this is what it's done here, but if we change the feather and move it all the way down, if we watch, it's still going to look like a hard edge. But if we were to move this onto a similar area, it actually does something very different. So if we move it into this area here, and we're now I'm using a huge area. Now, on a hard edge, what we can see is it still managed to actually match it extremely well. Okay, and then if we feather the same edge, now we're using the heel brush, and we come back up and we, we really feather that edge, and then we come out, it looks pretty similar, which is amazing. If we, for example, go to the clone, okay, instead we make this really hard, now we're still going to get this line because we've just moved this to here. So they have very different uses. So what we're gonna do here is for this retouch, I'm gonna delete that one by just hitting um, backspace or delete and I'm going to use the heel brush tool, this is my favorite one, and we're going to actually go through and we're going to make some edits. So we're gonna heal this spot here. There we go, and it's gonna move that from there to there, 
And as we scroll down here, let's make this larger, get rid of this dot. So these are all dirty marks on my sensor. Now, if we come away from this, you can see those spots have completely and utterly gone away. I actually missed this one. Now what's great is I can come back to this. I can then delete it and we can just paint back over that, just like that. So that's really simple. And look, it's making this analysis from here to here and that's how it thinks it's best. And it really does do a great job. So let's have a look at the skin. Let's see if we can do a really great cleanup on this and let's also see if we can add something. So first of all, let's see what happens if we were to add this into multiple places. So we're adding things to it, first of all. Now this is used a lot, so if you wanna add something, you select where you wanna add it to. So click here, okay? And then we're gonna drag this point down to this section just here, say we want to add that. And so because we've got it on heel, it's going to do all the skin toning and everything for us. And as we can see, we now have two of these blemishes. Now let's just add another one of these in a line so that we can see how powerful this tool really is. So that's three in a row. Okay, you obviously wouldn't do this. And that's exactly, and it looks, you know, it, it's realistic, although you wouldn't actually want to do it. So now let's have a look at getting rid of all of these blemishes on the face. So what we're going to do here is we're going to select the area that we want to get rid of, like so, and then it's going to analyze and it's going to do this. Click away, and that area is now gone completely. Now I'm going to go over and make this, the, make all these edits here, and you can watch me do it, but I will speed it up because it will be fairly boring. So here we go. <laughs> Okay, so as, as you can see there, I've done a um, retouch of the skin. Now you'll have seen I keep coming in and out. That's because if we stay too close to the skin, we kind of get confused. Now it's not perfect. The only section I've got left to do is this bottom section here. So we're going to use the same brush here. As you can see, I've actually done it already, but it didn't do a very good job. Okay, so what I can do is actually use this and as I move it around, it's gonna show me what it's going to replace it with. So I've actually not made that big enough down here. So I'm gonna do it like so, okay? And it's done this, but it's added that piece of hair. So I'm gonna drag this over here, and we're gonna see how good that does. That's really great. And the last two just there, I know it's gonna do a great job of that, like so, and we'll come out. And that now looks absolutely fantastic. So let's have a quick look at the um, before, okay, and the after. That's the difference that we did in just a few minutes with this heel brush tool. It really is quite fantastic. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to continue the edit and see where we get with this image with just a few little extra tweaks because I know that we all like to see the end result. So. I'm just gonna scroll up here, have a look at the basic. Now I did do a few things already. The shadows I'd lifted a little bit. I'm gonna boost my exposure just a little and my contrast. Take my vibrance down just a little bit. Now I do want this top to be different from the background. So I know it's in the blues. So I'm going to lighten it like this using my luminance. That's actually popped it out quite nicely. Now I also, because of this beautiful hair here, we want to actually, we can change the color of this like so, but we're not gonna do it there. We're gonna use the saturation. We're gonna boost the saturation slightly. That is gonna do her skin tones as well. But also using this slider, we can actually see we can lighten her skin and her hair ever so slightly, which I really like. That looks great. So this is what that did. Some great changes there. Now the other thing I'm going to look at here is in the tone curve, okay? We are going to, because of the reds, okay? There's a lot of it in the shadows, okay? So what we're going to do is we're actually gonna boost this in the shadows by adding a few points here and then boosting the shadows up like so. And then we're gonna knock it out of the highlights just a little bit, but keeping the, the mid-tones like so. The blues, 
Okay, we're going to do the opposite. We're going to knock it out and add it into that just ever so slightly. Oh, a little bit too far on that one. And then the greens, what we're going to do is we're just going to nudge the greens up in the mid-tones like so and in the highlights drop that down and that to me is starting to look quite interesting a little bit much maybe so we'll go to the rgb and i actually want to take the blacks out a little bit and make it a little bit more filmic hold on a little bit more filmic here by crushing those blacks like so I think that looks great. Now the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to use this radial filter and I'm going to set my exposure just to zero and I'm going to lock my sharpness all the way down to minus 100 and I'm actually going to draw this middle section in here and you, what, what's going to happen is it's going to basically blur the outside here so you can see her shoulder has been blurred. Take the clarity down and actually let's nudge the exposure down a little bit too and we'll put a strong feather on this now if i hit zero i can see the affected area so it's affected all of her head and her face which is what i really don't want to do so we'll take the brush hit the arrays okay and we're just literally going to make this brush nice and big and soft and we're going to come down this section because we want to make sure her hair here is looking amazing and we also want to make sure her head and definitely her face is all looking fantastic. I am going to add it back in just a little bit to the hairline. So it's going to blur out that hair. Oh, that was wrong because I didn't add my feather down to zero. Let's have my flow here. Got a line that's way too small for some reason. Add that back in. Great. I think that's starting to look great. I just want to lose it a little bit here. Okay. And then come out of that. That for me now looks like a really, really great image. Now I am going to boost this vibrance back up just a hair here. I am however going to come back into the tone curve because I want to add some extra blue into this image. And we're going to bring it down like so. And I think that now is starting to look absolutely fantastic. Let's have a look at the before and the after. Okay. Let's have, we go shift tab. It's gonna take rid of everything. Hit L to lights out mode. This is our before image and our after image. What do we think of this skin tone here? You can see the difference is absolutely dramatic and it looks amazing. So that was my tutorial and an edit on how to use the spot removal tool in Lightroom. If you like this tutorial, please give me a thumbs up would be fantastic. And also don't forget to subscribe because loads more videos on their way soon. Uh, this was Ed Gregory for photosincolor.com.